This doll is definitely not suitable for children. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest Child's Play 2019 moments. For this list, we're looking at the most terrifying scenes from 2019's Child's Play remake that still have us shivering. We're basing our picks on a mix of creepy tension, horrific send-offs, and uniquely spooky moments that feel too real. These events cover a lot of story beats, so a spoiler alert is in order. Number 10. The Forklift Although Andy Barkley's mother Karen stays safe from Chucky for most of Child's Play, she ends up in serious peril during the film's climax. Where are you going, Andy? Mom. As Andy sees her with a rope around her neck, we realize just how dire her situation is. Aubrey Plaza's bugged out eyes only accentuate the horror as a forklift starts lifting the noose. <laughs> The whole moment is hard to watch, as Andy can barely cut through the rope, and has to fight off Chucky as he does it. Plus, Andy's dangling moment off the forklift only ups the concern for Karen's already dwindling air supply. You are ruining our fun, Andy! Yeah! Number 9. Tiller Doll Wait, you got a problem with me? You be a man, and you say it. Come on. Let's hear it. After Karen's boyfriend Shane bullies Andy, Chucky decides to get Shane out of the picture. When Shane is putting up Christmas lights on a roof, Chucky makes sure he falls, breaking his leg. <laughs> With Chucky scurrying about and the tailor bearing down on him, the scene is full of creepy visuals. The doll's anger is the most chilling part of it all, however, as we finally see Chucky get upset. It's tickle time. Shane, pal! Nobody hurts my best buddy. Oh. 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 There's also something unnerving about watching Shane decide between fending off the tiller or a knife, especially since he loses either way. Goofy Tupac jokes aside, it is easy to freak out at this moment due to Shane's debilitating position. This is for Tupac. Number 8. Chucky Learns from Leatherface <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> As Andy is finally enjoying a movie night with friends, Chucky notices everyone laughing at the violence of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. But since this new iteration of Chucky is learning as he goes, he seems to think that they'll love getting hurt too. We're left with the eerie sight of the doll grabbing a knife and appearing in a shadow on the wall. What the hell? <laughs> That wouldn't even happen! <laughs> the moment he runs towards the kids and cuts Andy is pretty scary as well. <laughs> but what's most terrifying of all is that he doesn't understand the significance of his actions, just wanting to help. As they say, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Number 7. Chucky Hacks Into Andy's Hearing Aid Andy uses a hearing aid in this reboot, which mostly remains a subtle part of his overall character. Noodle, we talked about this. You said you were gonna try to make new friends. You deaf or something? Oh, that's right, you are. That is, until Chucky uses his wireless capabilities to hack into the device so that only Andy can hear his taunts. I'm everywhere, Andy. You can't run away from me now. Andy is someone who often feels isolated, and Chucky's takeover of his hearing aid is the ultimate symbol of that, ensuring that Andy can hear only Chucky. It will be all over soon. Don't worry, Andy. You're gonna thank me when she's gone. When they're all gone. It also represents the creepy relationship that Chucky wants with Andy, which excludes all others on pain of death. Plus, having a murderer talking in your head is nightmare fuel no matter what the context is. Number 6. Playing the Cat's Audio <laughs> When Andy's cat Mickey Rooney scratches his arm, Chucky swears vengeance. The moment Andy leaves the room, Chucky tries to strangle the cat to defend his friend. The next day, Andy finds the cat dead on the floor. This is already a great way to spook Andy and the audience, but then Rooney's voice returns one night. Hearing Chucky replay the cat's death wails is deeply disturbing, especially as we experience them with Andy for the first time. And it's exponentially more terrifying since the doll is only doing it to torment him. Number 5. 
Watermelon Head. After Chucky kills off Shane, Andy wakes up to a surprisingly quiet and blissful morning. In the midst of this idyllic scene, however, we're jolted with fear as Andy spots Shane's face stuck onto a watermelon. imagery is equally absurd and horrific, which helps it stick with you long after the film ends. The dramatic shift in tone also enhances this scare as it happens. Surprise! Now we can play again. What? And the sense of panic is upped further as Andy realizes the criminal repercussions of trying to call the police on Chucky. Stop saying that! What do, what do I do? Do I call the cops? No. He said I, I can tell them the truth! Tell them the truth! Sure, we tell them that a dead guy's face skin ended up in your room because your toy went full-blown psycho killer. The mix of gore and consequences feeds into the panic. Number four, Chucky is everywhere. Leave me alone! <laughs> Over here. We learn early on in 2019's take on Child's Play that Chucky has wireless functions to control smart home tech around him. While this sounds like a cool feature at first, it takes a sinister turn when the doll uses his powers to throw his voice around the room. Don't let us play, they all go away. Why are you doing this? Though it would be freaky enough for Chucky to sneak between couches and shelves in the dark, it's scarier that you never know quite where he is. Are you my best buddy? If they don't let us play, they all go away. Just as you think it can't get more unnerving, the doll projects his own point of view onto the TV to show us where he is in relation to Andy. <laughs> Given how underused smart tech is in horror, this scene is especially memorable for taking a path less traveled. Number three, Chucky hacks the self-driving car. Once Chucky decides that everyone else in Andy's life must go, even their nice neighbor Doreen is in danger. <gasps> Over, please. I'm sorry, I do not understand. When Doreen hops in a self-driving taxi to go out, Chucky quickly takes control of her vehicle. It is tense to watch as she's driven in circles and over cars at reckless speeds, all while Chucky taunts her through the speakers. He also menacingly pulls her over to see him, in a chilling display of how powerful he is. It's Doreen's reaction to seeing the seatbelts and airbags disengaged, however, that really got us shivering. Passenger airbag has been turned on. Seatbelt disengaged. Number two, multi buddies and drone blades. With plenty of new buddy dolls ready to be sold at a mall event, Chucky takes control of a horde of buddies and drones. And since there's a large crowd between him and Andy, Chucky starts mowing down anyone and everyone at the store. The shots of drones attacking people are spooky enough, but seeing the damage they do to people like Detective Mike is enough to keep you up at night. Soon, the Buddy Bear dolls are clamped on people's faces. Worst of all is the off-screen sound of their bones crunching, leaving audiences to fill in the horrifying blanks. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I think this movie has sufficiently scared me away from home tech. Do you think number one has to do with that, or is it just a good old-fashioned murder? Let's check out some honorable mentions, and then we'll see what our top pick is. We believe that happiness is about more than entertainment. It's about being known, understood, loved. Introducing your new best friend, Buddy. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh, shit. Number one, repairman dismantled. It turns out that maintenance worker Gabe is pretty creepy himself, but his fate is far worse than he deserved. When he takes and repairs Chucky, the doll turns on him. Can I take this down, but not in bad shape overall? The quick shots of Chucky zooming past to cut Gabe are chilling, especially considering how quickly he manages to overpower an adult. It only gets worse for Gabe, as he's first burnt, then forced to drop onto a table saw. That is some way to go. The moment shows just how much damage Chucky is capable of and how cruel he's become. Time to open you up. 
Let's see what we're dealing with. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.